Hi guys, if you're wondering why we're outside, sorry about my hair, it's puffy, I know, but sorry. Um, so, you're probably wondering, Creeper, what are we doing outside today? Well, I've got my air rifle set up over there, roughly 82 feet away. Um, I am working with the Iron Sights because apparently my card, the bank in the UK have blocked it because of they don't know if it's me, but I've got to call them up. But anyway, uh, today what we're shooting is after we shot this bottle, Probably with one shot, yet again I am working with iron sights. We'll be shooting this styrofoam, see where we hit. This bottle has been shot before, so, you know. Um, to prove that I'm not legitimate, this, this is to prove that it's not legit. Uh, this is legit, sorry, Jesus Christ. Um, so this is legit, it's not, there's no string attached to it. There's no cord or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I've got the, um, the Ruger Explorer air rifle up there, so yeah. Hopefully, I didn't hit the back of the box and destroy the tablet. So let's do this. Well, uh, I hit it, and uh, there's the pellet. So, uh, let's try it again, shall we? One more time. Empty. Try this again, Okay, so, yeah, again. So, out of three, uh, uh, two out of three, I reckon that's a good score. Um, so, I'll be showing you what rounds I'm firing at the end of the day, at the end of the shooting. Um, so, now I can hit that. Let's try and hit something smaller. A styrofoam. And it'll be able to show you where I hit it. So, here we go. Okay. Straighten that up. Okay, let's go.
Okay, well, uh, turns out I kept missing that. Uh, yeah, again, I am working with iron sights. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, ow, a sharp. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these two targets up right next to each other and see if I can hit one of them. Uh, my guess is I'm going to hit this one, not this one. I'll take three shots at each. If I hit one with the one shot, then I'll move on to the next target. If I take, and I'll take three shots at that. So yeah, here we go. Right, yeah again, this is all legit, no string attached. I just don't want to stay up. Okay, moving this forward. So now it's 81 feet away. <laughs> stay. Stay. I don't know. Right. Um, so yeah, again, I'll do three more shots at that. Three more shots at that. Done. Okay. Oh wait, not okay. You guys still can't see it. There you go. Okay. Three shots at the bottle, three shots at the foam, we're done. Turns out that I can hit that bottle, no problem. Turns out I can hit, I can hit this bottle, no problem. But there is a load of mozzies up there, so I've got those in my sights as well. So it's kind of hard to. Okay. Um, I am. I am. I've got a bag which I take all my targets home, which is only up the hill over there. So but I am not littering. Trust me on this one. Even though this place is a dump. Literally. Okay. The impossible foam target. Three shots.
I can't believe it. It come out untouched. I swear I was hitting that. But, um, oh well. So, yeah, if you want to see more air gun videos, um, my, well, I have to unblock my card. And then I'll show you a kit if you want to, my kit. Um, layout if it works. I will do that. Uh, put that in the comments below. Um, if you want to know what, oh yeah, my pellets. I'm using the. <sighs> I'm using those type of pellets. Um, show what they actually do look like. That's the actual projectile that I'm firing. Um, that is the type of projectiles that I was firing at these type of targets. These are soft targets. These aren't exactly hardened targets so the rounds would go straight through. I was not I wasn't actually particularly sure if I was hitting this or not because it is foam and the rounds could just probably punch straight through that. But um maybe that this can be my arch nemesis for this air rifle. The impossible foam target. And I'll uh when I've got my computer right here I'll put I'll print off a Minecraft uh picture and I'll stick it in the back of this. And then it'll be the hospital target until I kill it. This was really no match for me. I mean, I could hit this every time. So, let's end this video with a good shot, shall we? I've forgot me pellets. Let's make this harder. One shot. Alright. One shot in the chamber. It's not actually hard to load, it's just because I'm holding a pellet in my hand, which makes it particularly hard to load. So it is barrel fed. Break open. You can see the round going in. One shot in the chamber. Let's do this thing. Let's try that one more time. I know I missed. You know, I'm probably going to get all the air gun pros going, oh, you suck at this. I am a beginner. Leave me alone. I am a beginner. Just so you know, I am a beginner at this. So, yeah. I'm going to take another round for three shots. So we're going to do three shots at it. And let's see how many rounds I can get in the target before the, this video ends. One out of three. So, as you can see, the iron sights, when you get them centered, they can be pretty accurate. I mean, yeah, I'm not showing what I'm looking down. What I'm looking down 
is that. That's what I'm looking down. These, it's what Gunner's called um, a goal. Basically, if you line, you've got to line these two prongs up with that prong here, and then that's when you know you're zeroed in. So, yeah, again, my last round of the day or the recording, and then done. So uh, yeah, again, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. If you've got any like kits you would want to see on this, um, let me know. And yeah, I mean, so let's do this thing, yeah. One shot in the barrel. I've only been shooting this for a day, for two days, and I am not a good shot at long range, but I am working with iron sights, so I'm a bit off. Um, maybe I need to zero it in a little bit more, I don't know. But anyway, this is the Epic Reba, signing out.